Hi, this is Nick with Wolfman Repairs, and today we got ColecoVision Power Supply. All right. Now, this power supply was sent to me by Sean from Sean's Tech Rescue. I'll put a link to his channel in the description below. Big shout out and big thanks to him for sending this to me. I really appreciate it. He sent me a bunch of uh, Coleco power supplies that don't work. So thank you. All right, so let me plug this in, show you guys what it's doing. All right, so we have four different ports on this here power supply. This one here is going to be ground. This one's going to be our 12 volts. This one's going to be our negative 5 volts. And this one's going to be our 5 volts. So let's see what we got going on here. So ground, shove that on in. This one should be our 12 volts. Can, can we focus on the plug? Thank you. 12 volts, let's see. We got 1.9. This one should be negative 5 volts. We got negative 4.6, 4.9. And this one should be 5 volts. So we're not getting power out of our 12 volt line here. All right, so you, we have to rip this apart. So for the past, I don't know, two, three, four hours, I've been trying to get into this here Coleco power supply before I started the video. Cause you know, I wanted to save you guys some time. So, so I figured I'd take care of it before I start filming. So these are glued together all the way around. And I used IPA, I used heat. I used Goo Gone, and then I finally used gasoline. And that seemed to soften up the glue enough to where I could pry it apart. And this is what we got on the inside. We got these, these big old zappy boys, so don't touch those. <laughs> and let's see where our 12 volts is. Our 12 volts is this red wire here. So let's trace our red wire back and see where that goes on the board and see... Uh, See what's going on there. All right. So let me get something to poke at this with. So our red wire is here. So it's this spot right here. It goes back this way goes over here okay where does it go from there oh I wonder if that's our problem can you guys see that we got some cracked solder joints those don't look that great either that one down there oh maybe that looks okay but these here are definitely cracked all three of them cracked now let's see put our meter in beepy mode Getting continuity there. Kind of sort of getting continuity there. We're not getting continuity there. All right. Let's reflow those and see if that changes anything. A little bit of flux. Oh, whoa, <laughs> whoa, a whole lot of flux. Yeah, a little bit of solder. A 
Can you see what I'm doing? Too much flux in the way. See if that uh, that did it. I'd say it's much better. Let's just do this last one again a little bit. There we go. Might as well just tap them all again. Oh, don't want to bridge them. Let's clean that up. Let's put this cover back on and we can give it another try. You gotta be very careful when you're working on power supplies. You don't want to get shocked or worse. Right, got our meter. Let's plug her in. You know, let's put the top cover back on too. You know, just. I don't need any issues. Alright, no explosions. No magic smoke. Sweet. So this top one should be ground. And then we were missing our 12 volts. Let's see if we got our 12 volts back. 12.38. Alright. Let's just make sure everything else works. Negative five, positive five, 12.38, sweet. So this power supply is operational now. That's awesome, it was just a crack solder joint. Not bad, not bad. All right, welcome to my floor. We have our ColecoVision plugged in. This is the only TV that'll work with these uh, RF thingies, so. This is not modified yet, this console. I don't even know if this console works or nothing. So we're gonna show you, I got my power supply plugged into our, our uh, power strip on the back of the TV. You can see it's the one that we were working on because it's still open. I gotta put a zip tie or something around that. Maybe you can move it back together. So let's go, go ahead and fire it up and see what happens. Well, nothing. Well, our static does change a bit. Oh, oh well, we got some static. <laughs> yeah, our static does change when we power it on and off. This console probably just doesn't work. Let's throw Donkey Kong in for the heck of it. Yeah, we got nothing. All right, so I know what our next video is going to be. We're going to have to fix this here, ColecoVision. But at least we got the, the uh, power supply working. So thanks again to uh, Sean's Tech Rescue. I really appreciate you sending out those uh, power supplies for me to work on. And um, yeah, go check out his channel. Got some awesome videos on there. So thank you guys for watching this one. I appreciate it very much. And we'll see you next time. Oh.